Support is a very important thing, especially for a dog born with half the support afforded to most other dogs. Kanga is a six-year-old Chihuahua adopted from a shelter in Philadelphia by Mary and John Rudder of Branchburg, New Jersey. You know, when I first met Kanga, you know, I was pretty surprised that she survived the shelter process. It's, it was just so amazing to me. And, um, and then as a, as a person and as a veterinarian, I felt bad for her, actually. Then when I got to know the Rudders and I got to know Kanga, I got to spend some time with her. Um, she's actually a, a really courageous, really strong little um, little animal. And um, she's kind of like, a, almost like a person with a, a real big story to tell. So I don't feel sorry for her anymore. And um, she's a therapy dog now and she helps a ton of um, other people and animals. And I think if um, even one person just sees a dog, you know, who's disadvantaged or handicapped, maybe they should start thinking that they're, um, they're handicapable and give them a chance. And that's what the Rudders did. And uh, it made me a better person. And I, I know it's helping a lot of people. So that's Kanga's story. Although Mary and Kanga visit nursing homes, hospitals, libraries, and volunteer at fundraising events, one of their favorite places to visit is the Hollenbrook School in White House Station, New Jersey. Good morning, everyone. Their message is clear. Don't let disabilities or limitations, whether real or perceived, hold you back. Understandably, the students have a ton of questions about Kanga. They soon find out there are very few things Kanga can't do. She's a certified therapy dog through Bright and Beautiful. At the time of her test, the organization's evaluators were willing to modify the test requirements to accommodate her disability. But to everyone's amazement, Kanga passed almost all the sections under the standard test, which is no easy feat. Mary explains to the class that in order to give Kanga better mobility, they had a special wheeled cart made for her. But Kanga doesn't like it much and greatly prefers moving around all on her own. The highlight of every visit is when Mary puts Kanga on the floor and allows her to strut her stuff. Kanga loves to dance, and appropriately, the song La Bamba is one of this Chihuahua's favorites. Here Kanga is truly in her element and relishes every bit of attention she gets from the kids. Kanga is just amazing to us, both my husband and I, and how she affects other people and where she goes. I, I learn from her almost every day of uh, you know, what she does and what she's had to overcome and how she gives back. And so many people will say to us, you know, oh, how, how good of you to, first of all, rescue a dog and then rescue a dog that has a disability. And I'm like, oh, no. It's the other way around. We, we've been given so much. She's such a precious little gift. 